Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mark Excel. Welcome back. Now, in the last episode, we did a few little side missions in Citadel. Um, we did a little bit of gambling and we, uh, yeah, we talked to the council. Turns out they pretty much grounded us. So here we are in today's video where we're going to talk to Captain Anderson and essentially break free of the Citadel. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Yes, I am. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Will do. Now we gotta go back to the C sec all over again. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I wonder if those travel stations would make it quicker. Honestly, can't really even bother to find out because there's a travel station right there But it's only a couple seconds to run it I feel using those just makes you even lazier than what you already are After years of poor economic performance exogeny has I'm announced lazy, that its so research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for exogeny Exogeny stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased Ooh, that, at this surprising uh, there we go. news. I don't know why I was trying to make my chick go invisible, but well, I don't need a reason. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. More of their news is being repeated. Let's go Stand inside. by shore party. Decontamination in progress. <clears throat> Anderson, what are you doing here? I punch him in the face. <clears throat> he wasn't even touching a keyboard. Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. He seems happy. Then again, all he's really good for is flying because of his legs. Awesome. I was happy to see that dude get fucking punched in the face. All right, now real quick before we go in there, I want to see if we can't talk to um, uh, T Sony or Liara, just to see if we can't progress the romance story any. All about that romance. We were so close last time, but Joker intervened. <clears throat> he claims to not have known, so we'll let him pass. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? I should Apparently go. nothing. Goodbye, Shepard. Eh, worth a shot. Let's head up back to the captain's post and get the fuck out of here. Oh, 
shit, this direction. Alright, Citadel, back out, back out. Now we gotta go to Ilios. <clears throat> Ilia, Ilos, something like that. I think it's Ilos. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. So we got a lot of those side missions from whenever I went through and uh, did surveys. Again, I did that off camera because it was kind of a boring process. It's pretty much what I'm doing right now. You just click on the planet and then in, in the bottom where it says X, it will say survey. Nothing pops up, you just back out. All right. Ilos it is. Hang on. Pull it in place. <clears throat> yes. Shepard, may I speak with you? I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too. And what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail, I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. I would have come to you sooner, but I was afraid. A union with another species can be a life-altering event. I do not usually... I have never done this before, Shepard. I want you to be sure about this, Liara. Especially if this is your first time. I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. I want to do this, Shepard. And this may be our last chance. I want this, Liara. I do. But are you sure you're ready? I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Just tell me what to do. Calm down, boys. Oh, shit. There you go. Blue booty. She got no nipples. Damn, we got dressed quick. By the goddess. That was incredible, Shep. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> uh... Ready for round two? <laughs> Commander. <laughs> Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. Damn. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos. I just wanted to say thank you for everything. So was it worth it? I think you know my answer. Awesome. And nothing was shown, so I don't got to worry about getting demonetized. Honestly, I'd probably get demonetized faster for my cursing than I would for that. Because I cuss a lot.
That's a lot of gas to ship. Uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. <laughs> Let's do this. At this point, we're only going to take them two for two reasons. One, because they're my two favorite. Two, because they got, they're all geared up. I don't have the gear to give to everybody. I want the best of the best on my team. I can't afford the best of the best out of everyone. <clears throat> well, actually, I probably could. Just quite frankly, I don't want to spend the time going through every single person's inventories. It takes too long as it is. You two, keep moving inside now. Damn, that was close. We almost made it. <clears throat> we have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Alrighty. Um... Oh damn, they did all the work for me, shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh. Thought I got stuck. Oh, I didn't even see you there. We got somebody behind us. Mm, maybe not. No. Yeah, he's behind us somewhere, damn it. It might be somewhere later. That we cycle around to. Yeah, because there's one over there, too. All right, so we can go down.
Here's some cool little stairs. After that, uh, union with Leara, pretty hyped up for this fight. So should be cooled off now. Anything good? And uh, not really. That's money. That'll be money in her pocket. Looks like our only choice is to go up. <clears throat> we have 10 health pods. I'm glad I've been buying all those shit. Medigels. I don't know how many grenades we have because we're never... <sighs> Oop, did it fix itself? Okay. It did the thing to where it couldn't turn again. So let's go ahead and save it. That way, if we have to reload, we won't lose much progress. Equipment. Uh, I'm missing something. All right, map. So we need to go... Wait, isn't that where we came up from? Yeah. Oh, I need to go down here. I went back. Okay, shit. We went left up here. We need to go right. I'm kind of glad we did go left. That way we can uh, hit everything. But I assume they just cycled around. That's fucking cool. That's cool. Seriously. Oh, shit. All right, pull this out. Let's check the map real quick just to make sure. All right, so that's dropping us into the courtyard, which if we go this direction, it'd be the same. So let's go back and cycle around. Yeah, this should lead us into the court courtyard either way. I'm doing my 
best not to miss anything. Go ahead and get her, nope, uh, shield. Go ahead and do lift. Um, I think that's it. They took care of it. <clears throat> um, doesn't seem like there's a way to go up top, so we'll we'll go up on the other side. Now there's a way in there. I want to see what's up here first. Do a quick map check. Okay, so that's just a back room. Let's go into that room first. Let's clear out this area and then go the back room. Alright, let's pull the sniper back out. Let's go back to this room, like I said. Uh, there's got to be a way up there. Maybe this is an elevator. <clears throat> ah, it is. Yes. Should give us access to this crate that I saw. off nope kind of sucks oh excuse me all right now we can continue Didn't really seem like it was worth it to go back and get that, but at the same time, if I didn't go back and get it, I would have regretted it. Especially since it was right there. <clears throat> this place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Huh. I don't really know what to say after that. Place is gorgeous, I will say that. Oh shit! All right now. It's a big motherfucker. Um, I can't use any of my stuff. Yes, I can. Did not show there was one more guy. Oh.
Alrighty. So we can't access any of those. The thing dead? Oh, there's a bunch of them. They're gonna wake up at some point. Not seeing anything else we can do, so we're just gonna. Oh, there's a crate. There's a crate. Oh. Um. My people once tried to find this world. We'd hoped we could settle here. We didn't know it would feel so unwelcome. Did I miss anything? Okay, so we have to go to the security room right there. So we gotta turn around. Okay, I see it on the map now. I didn't see that before. Sure, it was there. I just wasn't paying attention. It's up top. Ah, here we go. Didn't see it there. Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. It sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. All right, let's continue going up. Well, there is nothing up here. At least we looked. Why is there a marker on my map now? I didn't set that there, did I by accident? set it there okay I cleared it and it still popped back up Ooh. girl got neck problems Damn, must have been one crazy night. <laughs> oh, okay, we gotta go 
back here. Might as well take the Mako with us. Why not? I would have sucked the wall. Things, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Please, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy? I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. Maybe there's a few pro uh, proteins still in there. Oh. Got a little squirming back there trying to zoom in on that. This is a beautiful area. It gives me a bit of uh, Halo vibes, like the early days of Halo. We're at the hop here, aren't we? What is happening? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I do not think Saren is behind this. Alrighty. Yeah, it definitely gives me Halo vibes. I know I wasn't a big fan of the multiplayer, but I played through the stories of all of them except for, I think, I uh, for decades, Master Chief, not Master Chief, whatever the fifth one is. What will we find down there? Whatever we find, be cautious. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it as well. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you, unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. Damn. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Um. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel Relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. If he turns on the Relay, the Reapers can wipe out the Council and the Citadel fleet in one fell swoop. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. 
Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. 
and they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. The Reapers come from dark space? How do they even survive out there? We only have theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter a prolonged state of inactivity to conserve energy. Effectively, they hibernate for the tens of thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say but it is determined to reopen the portal to dark space. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion. But once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. 
We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors. But if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope. So a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function. But we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. How come nobody noticed the Citadel is a giant mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. Alright, I think that's everything. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Awesome. That was intriguing. <clears throat> that means he must have opened that door or that barrier that we we're stuck behind. So he more or less put that barrier up to pull us in all so we can talk culture, to him. All their advanced technology <clears throat> and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. Just like my people. But they also gave us a chance to save ourselves. We must hurry. <laughs> All right, let's head down here and uh, actually how, how long has it been? Yeah, about 10 minutes. All right, let's push a little further. Oh, I missed. Damn, that looked like it was a path. Well, here we go. Yep, definitely a one way pass. Come on now. Yep, controlling this thing still ain't the uh, easiest thing to do. 
the Mako. Uh, I see something big on the map. It might be a turret or one of those bigger walkers. shields I said if our shields would have been done for I would have lost a lot of health there using this thing to fight clusters of people because they can't do a lot of damage to me and I can clear out a bunch of them but when I'm trying to fight the bigger stuff or clusters of turrets that shit sucks still one more down here See that? It's like a giant tree growing. There, oh. the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. Just service metal. Metorius, is that what it said? I don't know how to. I can't pronunciate words very well. Critical Terrible at reading. Detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. that 
one, we're going to save it. We are going to end the episode there. That way we can start fresh in the next episode. With that being said, I want to say thank you guys for watching and I appreciate all the support on this series. If you guys want to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button and like the video while you're down there. That way my videos pop up in your subscription feed and you won't miss a single episode. I have a feeling we're getting close to the end of the story of this one, but you remember there are two more in the Mass Effect trilogy and they are all remastered. So we plan on playing all three of them. With that being said, again, I want to thank you guys for watching and see you, hopefully see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.